guys happy monday i hope you guys had a wonderful weekend today we're going to come on here and discuss the makeup products that i pulled last week for the makeup basket monday series that are recently started on my channel so we're going to discuss the products that i pulled and let you know whether or not i'm going to keep them or whether i'm going to go ahead and pass them along so the first product i want to talk about is the Too faced hangover rx primer i absolutely love this primer if you're looking for a hydrating primer but it has coconut in it so keep that in mind if you're looking for a hydrating primer, I do recommend this one. I think it's a very good primer. I'm definitely keeping it. The next product is the Physician's Formula Youthful Wear. What is it called? Youthful Wear Creamy Natural Illuminating Finish. This is like a little bit of a powder hot, not a highlight. It's a powder um, foundation. Really like the way this looks on my skin. Jessica Braun was right when she said that it works for dry skin. I think it does not accentuate my fine line and fine lines. It doesn't make my skin look cakey or anything like that. I think this is an excellent product for someone if you have dry skin and you're looking for something that's similar to an It Cosmetics type of product. I think she's exactly right. I feel like this is a great product. I love the way it looks on my skin. I think it looks nice. I think it feels nice. And it just blends in so effortlessly. It just makes your skin look almost just like it blends in so it looks like skin so it just looks good but and almost illuminated really like the way this looks and i'm definitely keeping it the next product is the hakari this is the iris liquid eyeliner and i got this in a subscription service and i don't know why but for some reason this time around i'm noticing that it kind of sticks to my my shadows and then it just doesn't have a whole lot of pigmentation to it so honestly this is actually getting tossed I don't think it has enough pigmentation that you're going to be able to notice that it's actually purple. I don't think you can tell it's black. Like, it doesn't look black. It doesn't look purple. It, it just looks kind of like grayish purple. And for me, if I'm going to use a purple, like a colored liner, I want it to show up. I want you to be able to tell that I'm wearing a colored liner. Like today, I'm wearing a green one, and you can obviously tell that I'm wearing a green one. So, I don't like this. I'm, past, I'm going to toss it, actually. The next product is the Physician's Formula Sexy Booster Oola Ooh La La Sexy Eyes this was like a trio set and this is black i think this works good but i feel like it was bleeding on me a lot for some reason and i don't know if it's because my eyes were very watery this week so what i'm going to do is actually put it back in the basket and try it again because i feel like it was like coming down out of my waterline for some reason a lot this week and I, my eyes have been very very watery and like goopy feeling so i know that's kind of like gross but i'm gonna try it again try it for another week and then see if it works and if not then i'm gonna actually toss it so the next product is the Tarte Amazonian Butter Double Ended Tint, Lip Tint and Gloss. Love this product. I love how it works. You've got on one end, you've got like a gloss that when you put it on your lips, it almost feels like you're putting water on your lips. Love that. You can wear just that alone or the top has a lipstick and the lipstick's a really pretty shade. I absolutely love these. I think they're very, very nice. And they do have a little bit of a scent, but nothing this dramatic. It smells a little bit sweet. So I'm definitely keeping that. The next thing is the Ico I Do Liquid Eyeliner, and this is the black one. I think these are very, very nice. To me, they're comparable to some other high ends. I'd have to actually sit down and compare the brush tips to tell you which one I think it'd be most comparable to. Because I do realize now that the brush tips are different on most of these. So I will do a little comparison if you're interested in seeing that or if you're interested in knowing that. Um, but I really do like this, and I'm actually going to be putting this to the side because I'm not going to be using a black liner this week. I'm going to be using a colored liner for most of the week. Now the next thing is the Makeup Revolution Sugar and Spice Blush Palette. This is the Ultra Blush Palette. I think this is a good blush palette but I feel like these colors in here are so bright. Like this is so bright, this is so bright, this is so bright. So three of these are very very bright and honestly I probably won't ever wear those shades. I like these shades right here. I do like this as a highlighter. I think it works really really good as a highlighter. Let me show you what it looks like. There it is as a highlighter. So I think it is a good highlighter, but I think if you actually sit down and look at it, I don't think I'll ever wear those bright shades. Now, maybe in the spring, maybe I'll feel differently. So right now in the winter, I'm thinking, I'm a little on the fence about this, to be honest with you. So it may end up getting tossed, but I'm, I may end up trying it again closer to springtime when you're wearing the more brighter shit pops of color. So I will try it again, like when it's warmer. But for now, I feel like I'm a little bit on the fence about it. The next product is something from The Balm. This is the Balm Appetite Eyeshadow Palette. Uh, this is the eyeshadow palette that you open it up and then when you... It has Eat Your Heart Out written inside of here. It does... Whoa, I almost dropped it. Oh man, I stuck my finger in the shadow and I messed it all up. Don't you love when you do that? I really like this, but the only thing I don't like about it is this little... I don't like that for some reason. I think that's just a little... I don't know. It just 
for some reason it bothers me and now I've, I've made it all dirty so now it's even more beautiful but I do like the shades in this I feel like the only thing missing from this is a good like this is not really a white to me that's not really a white that's more of like a pinky white I think it needs a more skin tone like not really a skin tone like a taupey color because this is too dark and this one has a little bit of a shimmer to it so you can't you need a matte one that's this color right here is what you need honestly in this palette but that's just me being very picky about it honestly because that color just matches me so I could be just being like really picky because that color's not gonna match everybody so this color could match more people so it could just be me being picky I think it's an excellent palette though so if you were looking into buying this I do recommend it I just don't like the little flappy thing I think the little flappy things a little bit over the top the next thing is the Bahama Mama bronzer so this is the bronzer I was using this week and I love this bronzer I think the way that it makes my skin looks makes me look like I just came from the Bahamas which is awesome I love the Bahamas I love the color of this it, is, it doesn't have a whole lot of orange to it, which is important because any of the orange tones, I think, makes you look a little bit sunburned. And I don't want to look sunburned. I just want to look tanned up. I want to look like, you know, like I went to the beach. So I really do like this, and I will be keeping it. The next product is the Becca First Light Priming Filter. This is the, um, what is this called? This is the base. So it's the Instant Complexion Refresh. So it's the primer. It's just the primer. I don't know why I'm like sitting here trying to figure out what it's called. It's a primer. Really do like this. I think that it's not super hydrating though. So if you're looking for something that's going to give you a lot of hydration, I don't think this is going to help you. I think the Too Faced Hangover RX has more hydration than this does. I feel like it does give you a little bit of illumination, but I wouldn't say it's an overly dramatic illumination. I feel like it's more of like, to me, it reminds me of an hourglass product because it's going to give you that a little bit of a lit from within type of glow, which I absolutely love. So if you're looking for that little bit of a lit from within type of glow, you're going to love this. I don't feel like it tones down the redness though. I know that the purple supposedly tones down the redness, but I don't feel like it does. So I think it just makes you look like you have a little bit of a glow. So I really do like this and I'm definitely keeping it. The next product is the Lancome Hypnos Drama Mascara. I love this product, honestly. I don't think it's the best mascara for lengthening or volumizing. What I like about it is the scent. It smells so good. That's a crazy reason to like a mascara, I know. But I love the scent of this, so I'm actually going to throw this back into the basket again for this week, so it's going to stay to be used again, just because I'm trying to figure out if I love it as for lengthening and volumizing, so I'm going to try to maybe stack it with a different mascara. Hopefully that'll help, because for right now I just don't feel like it's very lengthening or volumizing. I feel like it's just an okay for that part, but I love the scent. The next thing is this. This is something that actually got pulled in at last minute. This is the Bodyography. This is the... Um, it's like a trio of, trio of, uh, eyebrow highlighter, eyebrow colors. Oh gosh, eyebrow shadows. What is it called? Anyway, really do like this because I was using this Rimmel one, which I can't find it right now. I don't know what the heck I've done with it. Here it is right here. This is the one that I had actually pulled for us to, for me to use and it's in the shade Hazel. I can't use this. It looks so red on my eyelids. It looks reddish orange and it just does, it looks very unnatural. I look a little bit like carrot top, so I'm not going to use that. So I'm going to use, the, I'm use this and I really did love using this. I'm actually putting this back in the basket so I can do a, a better review on this for you guys. This is something, I'm not sure where you can even buy it though, so I may not put it back in the basket. I'm actually, you know what, we're going to put that out and I'll find a different brow product to work with for this week. The next thing is the Maybelline Instant Age Ruan because I had actually pulled the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Concealer and this is just too dark for me right now so I'm going to have to wait till summer to try this out a little bit more. So I can't give you a full representation on how it works right now because I honestly didn't try it enough because the color just didn't work for me right now. But as for the Maybelline Instant Age Ruan, absolutely love this product. So this is one of those products that I think that you can, you can, I think honestly anybody could use this. I don't care what skin type you have. I feel like you can use this product. I feel like it works really, really well. It doesn't over accentuate fine lines or anything like that. I just think it's an excellent product. The next thing is the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask. You all know my love for this. It's going to go back into my basket just because I love that darn thing. It's very hydrating and it helps to keep my lips from cracking or anything. My lips did not crack at all this winter, which is very, very nice because I've never had a winter where my lips didn't crack. This is the first winter ever that they didn't crack. The next thing is the Star Crush Minerals Little Eyeshadow. This is a highlighting like type of shadow. I used it for the center of my lid when I was using the Bomb Palette and I feel like this was really, really nice. I like this product. This came in my Ipsy bag, so 
I think it's a really nice product and I do recommend it. The next thing is the um, That Gal by Benefit. This is the Brightening Face Primer. I didn't really get to use this, so I'm actually going to put it back into the basket so that I can try it out because I didn't, I didn't use it. So I can't give you guys a, a full representation on how it was. I have no idea. The next thing is the MAC Pain Really Paint Pot. This is my eyeshadow base. I love this eyeshadow base. This is probably my holy grail eyeshadow base. I think it works perfectly for if you have eye, if your eyelids have discolor, some discoloration. It helps to get rid of that discoloration. It helps to keep your shadows on. It helps to blend them out. I just think it's an excellent product. Highly recommend this. So now we're going to go ahead and pull our products for this week. I have them all sitting here. Hopefully I don't drop this as I'm pulling it over here. So, there are some products in here, and I am missing a brow product, so I will grab a brow product real quick and use that. Let me grab my brow product drawer. We're just going to use this because it's sitting right here. This is the Physician's Formula Eye Booster 4-in-1 Brow Boosting Kit. So, there's another part that goes with this. So, this is the brow products I will be using for this week. So, then I'll let you guys know whether or not that works or not. The actual makeup setting mist is the... Oh, my makeup setting mist. I don't know what I did with it. It was the... I think it's in my drawer over here. What did I do with it? I can't find it. Uh-oh. Anyway, the makeup setting mist that I had used was the Juice Beauty one. That is an amazing hydrating facial mist. I love that. I love the way it smells. It smells a little bit baby powder, so if you don't like that scent, then you're not going to like it. But that that is a very good hydrating facial setting spray. You can use it to do before your makeup. You can use it after your makeup. It does not disrupt your makeup. It's by Juice Beauty. So I will insert a little picture or something. I'll just notate it somewhere that what it was because I forgot to grab it. I think it must be over here. I must have left it in on my desk somewhere. And I don't want to be... I wish I had stretch arms, strong arms, and I could just grab it. But unfortunately, I can't. This is the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. So this is actually the setting spray I'm going to be trying out this week. And I've tried this before, but it's been a while since I've tried it. So I want to try it again and see how good it is. This week, I'm actually focusing on the eyes. So this week is a lot about my eyes. So you're going to notice everything else is a little bit more muted. The actual highlight palette I'm going to be using is the Hourglass. This is the Dim Light, Incandescent Light, and Radiant Light. This is the Ambient Light palette. So this is the uh, highlighter I'm going to be using. You can use this all over your face. I just like this because, like I said, I'm going to be focusing on my eyes, so I don't want to put a whole lot of focus on my face. I want the main focus to be my eyes, and you'll see why. The next product is my primer, and I have two here. I have the It Cosmetics Feel the Moment Anti-Aging Ultra Hydrating Sensory Awakening Primer, and then I have the It Cosmetics Number 50 Serum Collagen Veil Anti-Aging Primer. So this is more of a hydrating one, and this is more of a serum -y type of primer. So these are the primers I will be playing with this week, and I'll let you guys know how they work out for me. The next thing is the lip product I'm using. This is going to be the Buxom Sugar Lip Gloss. I think it's a lip gloss. Pretty sure it's a lip gloss. Full-on lip polish. So it's so fancy. It's not a lip gloss. It's a lip polish. So this is the lip product I'm going to be using, and like I said, I'm not doing a whole lot of focus on any other part of my face other than my eyes, so that's why the lip product is a little toned down for this week. And then the next product is the concealer I'm going to be using. This is the CoverGirl Outlast All Day Concealer, and I have the shade Light Medium. So I'm going to test this out and see how good it is. I did pick this up. So I want to see how good it is because I got a good deal on it. And I thought, you know what? This was in within my, my new budget for the month of February. So I'm going to test it out and see how good it is. The next product is a bronzer. And this is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I absolutely love this stuff. So I'm going to be playing with this this week. Like I said, the focus is not on the face. It's on the eyes. The two blushes I'm going to be using this week are from Tarte. And I have the Tarte... Seduce and Tarte Sensual. So these are the blushes. Let me open them up so you can see the shades themselves. So this is Seduce and this is Sensual. So here's Sensual and Seduce. You'll notice that Seduce, I'm sorry, yeah, Seduce is a little bit more pink and Sensual is a little bit more orangey. So that's the two blush shades I'm going to be trying to play with this week. So I'm excited to play with those. I love a more, these are more like natural type of shades. So I love that though because I like sometimes a little bit more a natural blush than versus where that pink hot pink one that was in that Makeup Revolution palette. That was a little too bold for me. The actual foundation I'm going to be trying out this week or playing with or 
continuing to use is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream. And it has an SPF of 50, which is very important right now because I am using some skin regimen products that do contain things that I need to be using absolutely an SPF with, which you should be using an SPF every day anyway, but this definitely has it in it, so that's helpful. The other lip product that I'm going to be playing with this week because we're going a little bit natural is the Bella Bomba. This is the Bella Bomba Ultra Plush Lip Gloss. So this is by Benefit. I had not seen these and somebody here on one of, on my channel here told me about these. I absolutely love these. I ordered them a long time ago and I just, I've never shown them to be honest with you. So we're going to be playing with that. As for eyes, I may end up getting a black one too, but this is the Pure Minerals Double Ego Double Ended Eyeliner in Queen, Queen's Island. Yeah. Queens, Queensland. No, Queensland. Queensland. So this is the eyeliner I'm actually using today. So you can tell that it does do a little bit of making my eyes pop a little bit. I love the way this looks on. Actually, we are using another one. We're using the black one from Physicians Formula. So we have two. Then the last thing that we're going to be working with this week is the eyeshadow palette. Because like I said, we're going to be focusing on the eyes. So I'm going to be using the Violet Voss. This is the Ride or Die palette. So I'm going to be playing with this a lot to make sure that I can give you guys a thorough review on this. I don't want to use this one or two times and be like, yeah, this is the best product ever. Because guess what? That would be a lie if I did that because I wouldn't really know. So I want to use it enough that I can tell you guys whether or not I feel like it's lasting, that it's good, which shadows are good, which shadows are bad, what is it comparable to. I want to give you the all good, the goods, the bads, and the uglies of the palette. So this is the eyeshadow palette. If you've never seen it before, here's what it looks like on the inside. I'll pop it open for you. It's very pretty, and I do have this on my eyes today. I love the way this palette looks. It's very, very pretty. It looks like a palette that, honestly, if you had this, it looks like it might be the only palette you would ever need. But we shall see. We will play with it enough, and I'll, I'll tell you guys whether or not this could be your ride or die palette. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'd love to know if you're doing a Makeup Basket Monday also with me, and let me know what products you're working with. Did you find some new products that you absolutely love? Or did you pull some products that you remember that you're like, oh my gosh, why didn't I get rid of this before? So I'd love to hear your thoughts, your opinions. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Bye.